So it's so nice to be up here and see this sea of people spirit out there. It's terrific. Yeah, I see you all. So we're going to review a few things since this is our first assembly of the year. I already see how nicely folks are sitting, so this will go quickly today. Just a few reminders that when we come together here in this auditorium like this for this kind of an occasion, it's our special assembly program. And these are very, very, very special times that we gather together to celebrate or to share an event um, or see a performance. We'll be having many of these throughout the year. So we're going to kick off with this one and we're going to review a few of our procedures. So I am going to start with a reminder that we need everyone to settle down. I'm going to give you a signal that looks like this. That means we're ready to begin. So when I do this, you're going to all give me the signal back that shows me that you saw my signal. So if I do this, what are you going to do? Awesome. Let's do it again. That was great. Let's practice one more time. So I'm ready to start. So I go. Excellent. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, so we're going to review some good audience behavior. When we come to the auditorium, we have to show that we're going to be a good audience. And we do that by sitting back in our chairs. So let's practice. We have our feet in front of us. Our arms are in our laps or on the armrest, but they're not bothering our neighbor. We're paying attention to what's going on up front. We're not talking to our neighbor. We're not poking our neighbor. We're not fooling around. We're here to watch whatever is happening on the stage. So very good boys and girls. A reminder for the children and for the teachers that when we have an assembly, everyone is usually here. Everyone in the whole building is usually here. So we don't have a lot of supervision in the halls. If anyone needs to use the restroom, they must tell their teacher. If you're in grades three, four, and five, you can go with another classmate. If you're in a younger grade, you must go with an adult. This is for safety reasons. We ask, though, that everyone use the bathrooms before they come to assembly so we don't have interruptions. So on days when there are assemblies, we ask you to please ask students if anyone needs to use the bathroom before they come here. So we want to keep everyone safe. So remember, grades three, four, and five, you can go with a classmate. Younger grades must be accompanied by an adult. And then lastly, when we leave the auditorium, because I know it will be real exciting at the end and we won't have time to announce this. When we leave, we always exit safely from the back. The back rows go out first and we wait our turns going out. Now this morning we're seated in our assigned assembly seat. So take a look around and see what area you're in, because this will be where you're going to be sitting pretty much all year. And thank you to Mr. Cassell and everyone else who worked on the auditorium seating chart. Everyone fits. Thank you. Um, aides, if there are empty seats, feel free to fill in wherever you see an empty seat. Or anyone else who's standing back there. Okay. So, um, as we know, this is our kickoff assembly. And before we get started, I just wanted to um, announce the buddy classes to everyone. We know that our buddy classes are our very special friends, and I wanted you to see where your buddies are sitting. So when I call your uh, class, if you can just stand real quick so we can see who the buddies are. So Miss Leary and Miss Conklin's class are buddies. Can you stand real quick? Let's give them a round of applause. Yay. Thank you. We have Miss Grossback, Miss Luciano, and Miss DeGrazia's class. So please stand. Three classes of our buddies. Wonderful. <clears throat> Mr. Weil and Miss Rago's class are buddies. Yay. Miss LaRage and Miss Ricard's class are buddies. Hooray. Great to your buddies. 
Miss Ruben and Miss Roberts class are joining me. Oh, they're very excited. Miss Rankini and Miss Warriors class are buddies. Right, wave to your buddies. Miss Higgins and Miss Cooper's class are buddies. And Miss Sanobri and Miss Edwards, Edwards class are buddies. Wonderful. We're looking forward to so many great buddy activities this year. Yes. I'd love to have Ms. Kazanegi's class. Oh, sorry, it's right here too. I skipped right over. Sorry. Ms. Kazanegi and Ms. Mangan's class. Last but not least. Okay. So normally when we come into the auditorium, we don't have all of these introductions. We go straight to our color guard. So let's welcome up our all fifth grade color guard. Come on up, guys, and I'll introduce you. Yeah. Welcome them up. So for the fall, our fifth grade representatives are from Miss Boyer's class, Christopher Hove and Rania Palanyapin. From Miss Hooper's class, Apollonia Lajudai, Tyler Piero. And um, from Miss Edwards' class, Matthew Cole and Sophie Lee. So these boys and girls will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem every time we come in. Just a reminder, when they come in and they ask you to stand, you're going to stand quietly to say the Pledge of Allegiance, and then that will be followed by the National Anthem, and then we sit quietly. There's no clapping our hands, we're not at a baseball game. Just a reminder about that, okay? And then we'll be ready to start. So at this time, I'm going to ask my color guard to take over. So color guard, Most importantly, a big rule, especially for our upper grade students, 
No cell phones are permitted during the school day. They must be out of sight once you enter the building until when you leave. The only exception is if your teacher is permitting you to use them for some kind of project in class. Then you're allowed to use them. Otherwise, you don't want to see them. You can have them, but they must be put away until you leave the building. And we hope that that is clearly understood. Next, I'm going to invite up Mr. Borjak, who's going to go over our lunch uh, and recess rules. So, Mr. Borjak, here he is. Big round of applause for Mr. Borjak. Woo! Look at that! Thank you, everybody. I have not had the chance to teach any of the games yet, so I will be seeing you shortly next week. Uh, the lunch expectations. Okay. First off, follow adult directions. You're told to get in line, please get in line. If the lights go off and you're asked to clean up, that's the time you clean up. Right? We don't want to have to wait two or three minutes for you to wait. We don't want to have to blow the whistle. We don't want to have to scream. We just want to say, okay, lights out, fine. Follow the both directions. Also, this is my favorite one. Be nice. Be nice to each other. Okay? Say nice things to each other. You don't need to be mean. Be patient. Be patient because sometimes people will do things that you don't like. Okay? You need to be patient. Okay? And sometimes we're playing a game, I do be in a minute. So you have to wait your turn. Be respectful of the adults, of your other classmates, of the aides. Be respectful. If they're talking, listen. Don't talk back. No sharing food, even candy. Sorry, sorry, you don't know who is allergic to who can eat what. So you have to eat your own, okay? And you don't know, not everybody knows. So please, no sharing food. And for the upper grades, no throwing food. <laughs> or anything else, okay? Also goes for the younger grades too. Okay? No throwing food. Or you throw it your ball. Okay? Or anything else. As you know, and my kindergartners don't know this yet, okay? there's a lot of people who have uh, allergies to nuts and peanuts. You know, so there's a peanut table in the in the uh, in the gym and in the meeting room where we where we eat. So if you have peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you're expected to go eat them. Okay? And if you have nuts, you're expected to if you have nuts and you're allergic to peanut butter, then we might have a problem. Okay. Then we're going to have, then we have to talk to Ms. Okay. Next week, I believe we are starting composting. Okay. There's a couple of things going on next week. Okay. Make sure that when you're composting, there's no utensils in the containers. Right? You can't compost utensils. And there's a new lunch system starting next week. Okay? I'm getting trained on it today. I'm going to find out about where everybody has to go. It's going to be a little bit different. So two days a week, it's going to be a little bit, or three days a week, it's going to be a little different. I will find out. Monday, I'll be there. I'll let you know. I was told to tell you, you're going to need to get in line. Everybody should always get in line, not rush up to the front with their cars ran. Playground rules. For slides, which directions do we go? Down. Slides are down. Don't go up. No going up, no climbing up. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. You need to share equipment. The swings over in the upper grades. There are three swings for the upper grade and three swings for the lower grade. So that means fifth grade gets great, third grade gets great. If third grade's not using their grade, can a fifth grade use them? Sure. But when third grade comes over, can I, have, can I use that swing? They have to say, sure. Thank you all. Okay. Basketball courts. Okay. Basketball courts. The center basketball court is for the older grade. So fifth grade and fourth grade, you have that center basketball court. Okay. The court that's closest to the meeting room is for the younger grade. 
It's for the younger grade. Both baskets are for the younger grade. The far court, that's way down near the baseball field. That is split between the older grade, which is closer, and the younger grade, which is a little further closer to the field. So older and younger, that's a share. Share. Nobody's using it. Can you use it? Right? You can use it. No tangents on the equipment, no jumping off the equipment, no climbing over the climbing wall. Use the hula hoops as hula hoops for a safe spot or a base. Use chalk. If there's chalk out, use it on the ground only, not on the building. When lining up, hold the balls and the other equipment and put them away. If there's a problem, try to solve it. If there's a conflict between you and somebody else, he's safe, he's out there if you're not going to scream. Try to solve it. Ms. Teresi will be up here and tell you about the peer me behaviors in a minute. Okay? That they will be here to help you. Okay? But if you can't, find an aid. Ask an aid for help. Okay? Right? If an aid can't help you, then an aid's going to get me. And then I'm going to come home and help you. Should you use force to solve a problem? Should you knock somebody down to solve a problem? I would say no. No. If there's a problem and you Think you might? Just go tell me. We'll, we will take care of it, okay? That's our job. That's my job. We'll take care of it. Be calm. Be calm. And the last thing, be nice to people as you want them to be nice to you. That's the what? The golden rule, right? Be nice to people. I think that covers it. Thank you. I think you left one out, though. Make sure that you have fun out there. Yeah, lots of fun. All right, have fun. Have fun. That, that's, the, that's really the golden rule there. Okay, um, at this time, now we're here and it's spirit day, so I think we need to congratulate so many people who came wearing their spirit uh, wear. So let's big round of applause for everyone. It looks amazing. Yeah, go Heathrow. Can I hear a big go Heathrow? And now I'm going to out somebody who I'm going to totally embarrass, so I'm going to call Mr. Up here to show us because I think he's the winner of the spirit wear. He just showed me that he is sporting his brand new custom made Heathcote Adidas sneakers. <laughs> I didn't even know they made these things. Congratulations, Mr. Cassell. I think we're all going to get a pair for the next spirit day. Now I'm going to turn over my microphone to Ms. Bashir to welcome us home to Heathcote. All right, everybody. So if I can have um, my ukulele players join me on the stage, that would be great. We're going to be singing Don't Worry, Be Happy. That's 
name is Rosie. We are the members of the Keep Go Green Club. At Keep Go, we recycle and do composting. We want to remind you to recycle paper, plastic, and glass and recycle dishes in the classroom, swing, and lunchroom. Look for the yellow, blue, and gray containers. Plastic goes in the yellow container, paper goes in the blue container, and garbage goes in the gray container. Also, look for the green composting containers in the lunchroom. Whose class will put in the green bin? Look for the signs on the container so you know what to compost. Green club members will also come around and teach you about composting. The Heath Club Green Club meet on Wednesdays at lunch to help with recycling, composting, the garden, and other fun stuff. The Green Club will start in a few weeks. If you are interested, let your parents, teacher, and the six know. So do you remember what goes in the blue container? Now I mentioned 
circle of friends, and here we are. We are now in the Heath Cove circle of friends. Our, our year has started. When you see this symbol, new for, the, for our new children, this means that we are all joined together holding hands in a circle. We believe in this philosophy at Heath Cove. I expect everyone to be following this philosophy. We remember that our key words in the circle of friends are to respect, accept, and care for everyone in this building, and I mean everyone, all of the adults and all of the children. We're going to respect everyone. Can I hear you say respect? Yeah. We're going to accept everyone. Can I hear you say accept? Yeah. And we're going to care for everyone. Can I hear you say care? Yeah. Now let's say it together. Respect.
welcome everyone to the circle, and then we will clap for everyone together. All right, so here are all of our new friends in the East Coast. We welcome Miss Grossback Kindergarten class to East Coast. Yes. And Mrs. Cabanetti's class. And Mrs. Leary's class, we welcome all of you to kindergarten. And we have one new staff member to welcome, Mrs. DeGracia. Give everybody a round of applause. Before we close, I want to wish everyone a very successful and happy school year. We're officially begun now. That's it. We've done it all. The picnic, open house. And we finish it off the welcoming back with our uh, circle of friends assembly. So we're ready to go. I know you're going to be super, super, super good students. We're going to do lots of 